Hey, welcome back to another episode of Motivational Monday. I'm Kate McKay, and today I want to continue the conversation about clean eats. Now, I am a high performance coach, and I work with people to help them up level their lives so they have more consistent, fulfilling life. And that includes your personal and your professional development. So I love what I do. Uh, my history is in fitness and health and wellness because I love it. It's something that has been really important to me, particularly over the last 15 years of competing as a bikini competitor. And when I decided, when I made that commitment that I was worthy, that I was worthy of another level of self-care, it changed my life. And that's exactly what I want to do with people that I work with now is to be able to see and hold the vision of your best self by you telling me your stories and sharing with me what you want truly in your heart, what calls to you. Why are you here? And I love discovering that in people. And I'm super nosy and ask a ton of questions. <laughs> ask anyone who knows me. I love to know your why. So in the Clean Eats Playbook, which I have on Amazon and also Living Sexy Fit, the second part of it, again, obviously self-respect begins at the lips. Self-care and self-love begins right here. Right? So how do we how do we nurture and take care of this holy vessel that we were given, that we're walking around in? How do we respect this holy vessel? And certainly we can look at macronutrients and micronutrients and the importance of that. And that is in the book. So you can definitely check that out. But also I want to talk about just some real basic habits that I focus on when I'm getting ready for a competition. I'm getting ready for one now. And that's this. Oh, we have to hydrate. So I'm asking, I'm going to make a request for you just to drink 64 ounces of water every day at minimum. Some people drink a ton of more than that. Some people drink coffee and that's it. So where are you in that spectrum? But at least getting 64 ounces minimum is a wonderful place to start and you can do it. I know you can. And the second thing is really focusing on your protein. How much protein are you getting each meal? And ultimately that's what's going to drive a more muscular body, a stronger body. Because ultimately what happens is we lose muscle mass as we age. It's pretty dramatic. So we have to fight for our right for our muscle. <laughs> so just, you know, protein's a building block. So we have to fuel ourselves. And no, peanut butter is not a protein. No, nuts aren't a protein. And no, there isn't that much protein in other foods that people often think like cheese, right? We're talking about their primary macronutrient. What's in the protein? Those are all considered fats, but oftentimes people like will binge on those, think I'm eating protein. No, you're eating fat. It's gonna get you fat if you eat a lot of it. <laughs> so really focusing on protein is really super important. And number three is really think about ways that you're, you can honor yourself in, and pay attention to the way you speak to yourself. Oftentimes we'll, we'll talk to ourselves in ways that we never would dream of talking to our best friend, our children, our spouse. So you deserve that level of love and self care. So I'm Kate McKay. And you know what? Thank you again for joining me on another Motivational Monday. If you're enjoying these, I would love a like and I would love a share. And if you have anything that you would like me to talk about, I'll be happy to do it. I'm Kate McKay again and have an incredible day and live within your greatness. You're here to do great things. I see that and I'm going to hold that for you.